boost micro details with Structure AI is our topic today on Luminar Coffee Break. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Hello everyone. All right, so we're gonna work with Structure AI, which you've seen it many a times, but the one slider we're gonna really talk about is the boost slider because a lot of people wonder what that slider does. So let me try dive right into it. Here's the original image. So I took this with our good buddy, Jacob Bors, when we were in Scotland. I like it. I did a little editing to it, not a whole lot, but this is what we're gonna do with it using Structure AI, all right? Now, let me get back to this here. Notice, it's just the details are just a little flat. What I do want first, like I said, I did do a little editing to this. That Structure AI is typically a good tool to use in the workflow, in the orders of operation, towards the end. But before I do that, I do want to bring out the colors a little bit more with Enhance AI. Look at that. Look, yeah, okay, look, at, look how it's really bringing that image to life. Now I want to come down to the Structure AI. We have to be careful here. Too much is craziness. It's going to look like it's HDR. All right. Uh, 15 years ago, this would have been amazing. But right now, yeah, that's, that's way overboard. Well, let's do this. Let's dial back the amount. So what is this Boost AI doing? Or the Boost feature here? Well, if I zoom in, you go right here to the, the tower. Now watch. When I zoom in with Boost AI, a little amount, just a little bit right there. Look at that. Ready? Give it a second to render. Look, look, look what that's doing. Let me close it off completely. So look what Boost is doing. Boost is enhancing the finer details in an image, whereas the amount is going to work with the entire image. So amount is for the entire image. Boost is going to work on those micro detail um, parts of the image that we really want. Now, there's a huge difference between this and let's say the clarity slider in Lightroom. Clarity is going to also adjust color and it's going to give the appearance of sharpening, but it's going to have that artificial look to it. With Structure AI, it's human aware. So if there were people in the scene where you can see their faces, it won't mess with the face. It'll give structure to everything around it. And then that micro deep, that micro boost or that boost slider gives us that micro detail that we need when we want to really get more fine into it. Now, let's continue with it. So I'm going to come right back in. I am going to boost a little bit more. I'm going to give it. Now, I like what it's doing overall. Right? But the clouds, let's attack that separately. I'm going to come over to mask. Now, I could just come in and do mask AI, which we will. And I'm going to let in analyze the image for me. And it's going to find the sky elements in the scene. And then I can apply that structure just to that section. Or I could just go with the brush. And that would have been a quicker way to where with the brush tool, I would just decide, okay, well, what looks great overall? And then with the brush tool, paint out what I don't want. Here I am going to use Structure AI. And look, it found sky. So it found the sky, but I don't want that to be sharp. So instead, let's invert it. Now watch close. Oh, look at that. Everything but the sky received that sharpness, right? Well, now if I close it, reopen it again, now I can apply that structure again a second time, a second instance. So I'm going to apply it this time. But this time, I only want to be a plus. Well, actually, I like the whole thing. Well, okay, I do like the whole thing. But if I wanted it, let's say, paint the amount, uh, the strength of it 100%. Let's say I just want it up into here, this area here. So what I can do is tailor fit where I want that structure to be. All right, now look at this. Before, after. And let's say I do want just a little bit more on the buses, but I don't want as much. This is where I could just paint in the effect. And what you're seeing is red 
is the mask. So let's say I just want all of this have just a little more. Now let's look at the difference before, after. Now let's see the overall. The original, and now that's what we just did with the Structure AI tool using that boost. And if you get curious in what the boost actually does even more, just click on the information icon right here, and it's going to tell you what it's doing. But what's also going to let you do is click on Learn More, and that's going to take you to the website right to the uh, user manual, and it's going to take you right to Structure AI. And look at this. It's going to get you started. How cool is this? And it gives you one. Here's Boost. The slider is just the overall display of the details, moving it to the right. Accentuates details, comparing the amount. Boost emphasizes the smallest detail like we mentioned. All right? So we have all that set, and that's great. Now, I do want to bring out a point. In the past, before we got the Blur tool, before we got the Blur tool, watch. What we used to do was we could use Structure AI as a negative. And now watch what happens. When I went to a negative value, look how it blurred, blurred everything. See that? So a negative value, let me get out of the way. A negative value gave you a blur. We don't need to do that any longer. Let me get rid of that. Because now we have the blur tool. So under the creative section, the creative tools, you'll see we have blur. And here we can get more, we can get into more detail about the blur here. Let me get to it right there. We can get into the blur detail if you want to do it. So in the past, yes, we used to use negative structure for blur. Now we don't need to do that. That's another way of the engineers. I love that our team listens to us and they say, well, that's not what the tool was designed for. I know we could do it, but let's give you a better tool to make it even uh, more efficient, and that's what they came up with. All right? Now, thank you so much for joining us. And by the way, if you don't have a copy of Luminar Neo, scan this QR code here to where you can get the lowest rate of Luminar Neo for you. And for those people that already have Luminar Neo, scan that. I believe you get an extra 10% off on anything on Luminar Marketplace. All right? So this is a live show. So for those that are here, thank you so much. Please stick around for the Ask Me Anything segment, where you can ask any questions whatsoever about this topic, about photography, anything going on, and stuff along those lines for everyone else. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you at the next Coffee Break.